Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, it is August 1st. We are kicking off the first day of August with a day in the life video. I am off from my nursing job today. I have this weird five day stretch every two weeks where I work Saturday, Sunday, I'm off Monday, and then I work Tuesday, Wednesday. So I'm off today and then I work tomorrow and Wednesday. So I was thinking of heading to Target and grabbing a couple of things for the week. I want to share a recipe that I saw in a YouTube video this morning. So I'll be sharing that with you guys in this video. I need a couple ingredients from Target. So of course I'm like, I could go to the grocery store, but I'd rather go to Target and browse every other section. So we're gonna go there today. I would love to share my new over the door pantry organizer with you. I haven't installed it or even taken it out of the box. So I figured we could do that together. Probably do a little bit of cleaning here in this video as well. Just a get it all done kind of day because I have a weird work stretch right now. So. Another thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that I've been on YouTube for a couple of years now and I've never done a Q&A on my channel. So leave a question in the comments down below and I will be filming a Q&A for you guys. I think that will be really fun to just do like a sit down chat video and yeah, that'll be a video coming hopefully sometime in August. So leave me a little question down below and hopefully I will answer your question. So it is 10.06 a.m. I've already gotten ready for the day, showered, blow dried my hair. I'm feeling really motivated, not just because it's like the beginning of a new month, but I just feel like when I get up and I get ready, I'm in such a better mental health space than just like lounging around in my PJs till noon. So we're up, we're ready. I've got jeans on. It's like super gloomy out here for August 1st in New Jersey. It, it's probably like 75 degrees and rainy. So total gloomy, light a candle kind of day. But we are going to whip up some breakfast. We had breakfast for dinner last night and we have leftover bacon and I'm like, I'll just have breakfast again because I love breakfast. So I'm gonna whip up something to eat and then I think we'll head to Target first and just get that out of the way so I can get home and get things done and relax later on before I have to go back to work tomorrow. So yes, that is my plan. Let's get some breakfast together. So I'm really weird and I love to add things to my eggs. Like I'll eat my eggs with zucchini or like random vegetables. I am obsessed with this bruschetta from this local Italian place near me. So I think I'm gonna add some bruschetta into my eggs because I'm just weird like that and I love it. And also I shop at Aldi like almost every week for groceries. And this is such a good cheese. I love just melting this on top of eggs, burgers, so good. bacon, a little side of blueberries, and somebody's very jealous. <laughs> Hi! What you doing, girlfriend? 
<laughs> breakfast was absolutely delicious so simple half the time I don't even eat breakfast and I need to get better at doing that because then I go to the store and I'm starving and then I stop at Starbucks so I'm glad that I ate breakfast at home today let me know if any of you can relate you just like get up and go and then it's two o'clock and you're like have I eaten today <laughs> but anyway we are gonna head to Target right now done a Target <sighs> and the vibes today listen I am in no rush for fall but it is like cool and 70 and gloomy and I really feel like going to home goods and getting a cozy candle to light after I clean my kitchen do I already have 64 candles at home that I could probably light all right, maybe I have like 10, but I'm just feeling like I want to run into home goods real quick. And also, I shared this in another video. I am obsessed with this and I am loving it. I know it's on Nordstrom and it's sold out after the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but I will link it. It's really good. And if you can snag one, it changed my whole life. Just kidding. Okay, we're gonna head to Home Goods. It is full on spooky season in here. probably didn't come here today for a grocery haul but I'm gonna just show you really quick everything that I got from Target the items I got from home goods also if you ever come to the East Coast Wawa coffee I wish I could brew coffee at home like Wawa does so let's wait for my dogs to stop pacing because I just got to own they're very excited why don't you guys go outside for a little <gasps> would you love that yes you would okay come on go ahead both of you Maggie come on go get some fresh air go get some fresh air yeah go it's beautiful out so we'll get through this really quick I thought it would be good to um share these with you and then I will put the pantry organizer together and I can show you it on camera and then I can get to organizing my pantry before I go stuffing all of this stuff in there. So, whoa, those are probably all crumbs by now. I got two bags of blue corn tortilla chips from Tostitos. We love those ones. They're like nice and thick for like uh, dips and making nachos in the oven and stuff. We got two boxes of cereal. Nick and I eat cereal as 
like dessert at the end of the night. So I love having cereal on hand and all of ours I just tossed because it was stale. So we got two classic cereals. I got a thing of Starbucks cold brew. You just add water to these. I've never tried them. So hopefully they're good. They're single serve concentrate black cold brew coffee. Just add water. So like I said, yeah, hopefully those are good because that was like $10 for six, but I thought I spend five, $6 on one coffee. So we'll try it out and hope it's good. I got a couple different Alani new flavors. I have never tried three out of four of these. So I always try to get a different flavor when I can. These are delicious. I love them. I've never been an energy drink kind of gal, but these have no sugar added or anything like that. They do have 200 milligrams of caffeine. So I only drink these like maybe a couple times a month. I like to have them for if we like hang out with friends on the weekend or we go anywhere. Um, I stick these in my little brewmate because I don't drink alcohol. So I will just sip on one of these as like a little flavor drink. But I have tried this one. This one is delicious. So hopefully these ones will be good as well. They are so tasty. I can't believe that they are sugar free. And energy drinks probably aren't the best for you, but I really don't, I don't drink them that often. Like that will probably last me the next month. I drink like one a week. Also, the last time I went to Aldi, I got these bags. This one's full, so let me show you the empty one. But they are like square bags. And you can pull the, you can pull this out like to go flat and then your bag flattens. Are you kidding me? I should have bought 17 of these, honestly, because this is awesome. You can literally set this down and just scan your groceries and put them right in the little box bag thing. And then when you're done, you just collapse it. Definitely a good find. Okay, we'll do the we'll do the foods in this bag. I got a thing of bacon bits. I don't normally get these, but they're for a recipe for dinner tonight. I got three things of ranch seasoning because this is just a staple in our house for crock pot meals, sprinkling this on cucumbers. This is a game changer, but this is also for a recipe tonight. So got that. I found these uncured pepperoni mini turkey sticks. I'm always looking for like quick snacks as a nurse, like just grab and um, just grab and go. So I got these and then I got this breakfast blend medium roast Starbucks ground coffee. I am just hating, hating, hating making coffee at home. I don't know why I can't get it right. It's, it's a really sh big struggle of my life. And I have this amazing, expensive, highly rated Ninja coffee maker, and I still just don't like the way my coffee tastes. So that is why I go to Wawa or Starbucks so much. Okay. And then I got a thing of Sweet Baby Ray's. No sugar added because barbecue sauce has so much carbs in it and sugar in it. It's insane. A um, couple other random things. These pajama pants are my favorite. I have them in a couple different colors now. They're the Stars Above brand. I can link these for you. They are butter soft and they wash really nicely. That is my problem with a lot of things. Things tend to shrink because I'm I'm taller, I'm 5'7", so when I can find pants that fit me and don't shrink in the dryer, I go for them. They were $19.99, and I will wear these probably 700 times in my lifetime. I got a solid tank. I have this in another color, and I just wanted, I love the fit of it, so I wanted another one. Very cute, just solid gray. Always wearing neutral stuff. And then this I found in the kitchen section at Target 
we are on the struggle bus with our spice cabinet. I will show it to you. It's insane. Maybe I'll organize that today with you as well. But um, yeah, there's stuff just falling out all over the place every time you open the cabinet. And I have these little clear glass jars that I would love to put spices in and like put a spoon in and be able to like sprinkle. But I have a feeling Nick will lose his mind because he'd be like, why can't we just shake the spices out of the plastic bottles, you know? So we'll see. This is probably going to be too wide to even fit in my cabinet. But like I said, we'll see. And then I have some cold things to show you and we will put all this away. And I am really excited to work on my pantry. This is like what happens when you're an adult. You get excited about pantry organization and things that will just make your life function a little bit better. A couple little things that I got from the cold section. I have them in my little Trader Joe's cold bag here. Um, thing of light sour cream. This is for a recipe tonight and we use this for tacos. Clausen dill pickles, game changer. Like I, if you don't like pickles, you should just unfollow me. Um, I'm kidding. I'm not one to buy things like this, but these are great little snacks for work to just pack in your lunch box. Um, like this with your turkey stick, beautiful idea. So I picked those up. I got a thing of Deli Fresh, Oscar Mayer chicken breast. I like to take them to work too with roll-ups, like with cheese rolled up in them. And then I got two bags of uh, organic boneless skinless chicken breast. These are frozen, so I need to get these in the freezer ASAP. But these are awesome for those nights that you just need a quick meal and you can throw them right in the Instant Pot if you have one or in the morning. I'm not one of these people. If I'm home, I'll leave my crock pot on, but I can't leave my crock pot on and go to work. I have way too much anxiety for that. But on like days that you know you're gonna be busy and at home, you can take these right out of the freezer and put them in your crock pot. They'll defrost and cook all day. I love having these on hand in a pinch. And then I had to do it. I had to buy these cookies. Um, I got cookie dough, whoa, sugar cookie, and chocolate chip because Nick loves chocolate chip and I love sugar cookie. We will eat both, but we have our preferences. So that is everything that I got at Target. Let me quickly put away this cold stuff and then I'm going to show you what I got at Home Goods. I really should stick this in the freezer outside instead of just shoving this in here, but it's fine. Everything's fine. <gasps> Everything's fine. So don't look at my fridge, okay? Real people live here and there's just stuff everywhere. We are not like, listen, some of the pictures I post, I am very Pinterest inspired. I look like my house could be like a Pinterest house or something, but most of the time, girl, my house looks like my fridge looks right now. <laughs> Crap everywhere, stuff everywhere. I will never pretend to be like, like I've got it all together because <laughs> I don't, I don't, I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> all right, all that cold stuff is away. Let me just, I'm just gonna actually, you know what, maybe I should do the dishes and like clean up the counters a little bit before I, now we'll do that after. Okay, let's just put all this over here. Is this even gonna fit in here? <gasps> I think it might, guys. Oh my God, it's gonna fit. Woo! This is gonna fit in my cabinet. Let me show you my cabinet. I just pulled some of these out so that I could try to fit that in, but it's just like, there's just stuff thrown everywhere. We don't even use this all on a daily basis. So I'm thinking keep everything that we like a daily basis use in here and move all the rest of the stuff to the pantry as well as this stuff, because there's like cooking wine and like Asian sauces in there that we just don't use every day. So 
yeah, we'll organize this today too. I am so glad I picked this up because I was looking at it and I'm like, our cabinet is so narrow, it probably won't fit, but it's gonna fit. Okay, let me quickly set this down. This is what I got at Home Goods. So I found this adorable little basket with a lid. I love that it's lidded. Very cute. You could like store stuff in here. And I got, she wrapped up my candle in this. So I got this very beautifully smelling candle, Appleberry by Red Leaf Home. There was two different apple ones that I was like, which do I want to do? But this one smelled way better. So if you see that, give that a smell at your home goods or Marshalls. I'm sure it's at Marshalls, TJ Maxx. And then I already have this exact apron in gray and white striped, but I just had to get this one too because it was so neutral and cute. And I love like linen-y stuff like this to add texture into my kitchen and dining room. This is the bottom with this cute little like fringe. It's by Max Studio if you're looking for it in your home goods. Has a nice big pocket too, which I shared with you guys my Target apron that I got from Hearth and Hand. But once I like put it on and tried to use it, there was like one really small pocket and then like a medium pocket. It just wasn't good. Like this you can actually like fit stuff in it's a huge pocket so very cute love that and that's all I got from home goods so let's get to setting up this little pantry organizer together I hope this isn't gonna be like really difficult to put together but we shall see And in our pantry, like I normally have this like plastic thing under here that holds a bunch of our snacks, but our air conditioner is right behind this wall and that is where it's leaking into back here. So that's why we have a fan down here. And that's why my house is mainly in shambles because it just keeps leaking. It's really nice, you know? So, so I will link this for you guys if you are also interested in getting one. It's from Bed Bath & Beyond. It's this. Simply Essential Over the Door Pantry Organizer. This looks like it's going to change my life, so I'm pretty excited. Um, the only thing... Oh, sugar. I hang my lunch boxes there. That sucks. I hang my lunch boxes on the back of the door here with these hooks. Shoot. All right, you guys probably don't care about me putting this together, so. I'll check in with you guys once it's assembled. So that looked way more complicated than it actually was. That was so easy to put together. Oh yeah, that looks fine. You, you can't even really see it on the camera. Hi, what do you have? Huh? Sit, sit. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's put our little shelves on. I hope this is not gonna like. This is good. This would be fantastic in like a laundry room to a bedroom, like on the back of a closet door for jewelry or, oh yeah. This is really nifty. Literally no tool required to put this together. Love that for me.
forgot to film a before clip before I started just going crazy cleaning this. So here's that. And then I just put a couple random things down there so far. daily basis it's like random blends for barbecuing stuff we put on our popcorn um, everything but the bagel seasoning like we don't use that kind of stuff every day so we are gonna let me clean this out I'm actually gonna give this a good little wipe and I am going to put this little wooden riser thing in here organizing these spices. This is so long overdue. <laughs> and the reason that I went with the wooden one is I've had a wire one in here before and they all literally just slid off of the wire shelving. It never worked for me. So we are gonna go with this wooden one. It already looks very promising. So just gonna put the things we don't use as often in the back. some of this stuff into the pantry. I'm not gonna go crazy filling it up right now. Um, I wanna try to really eat as much as we can out of our pantry before I grocery shop again. Um, really try to use up some of these canned goods and stuff. I always try to like make it a challenge for myself to use up as much as we have before I go grocery shopping. I go on like a shopping strike because we really do have a lot of food that we can use. So I'm not gonna fill it up like crazy every little bin and container because then I will have room for the next time I go shopping. But I was able to free up so much space in these bins, basically a bin and a half. So I brought over some of my cooking wines and some of my extra barbecue sauces I pulled down to remember to use them. And I got all my pastas together, my broths together. This is like cereal, snacks, um, like peanut butter, syrups, little supplements that we have. I should really be here. Um, this is kind of like baking and just extras. This holds onions. Actually, this little coffee thing. I Is my onion growing something? Why, yes. <laughs> yes, it is. We'll just leave that. Um, I'll put my coffee down here with the other breakfast blend. Um, this is all open seasonings that we just don't use on a daily basis. So when we need them, we can come over here, which I love that. It freed up so much space in my cabinet. 
then this is all like sides for dinners. I am thrilled with this thing. I would highly recommend you get one for your pantry. It was only $40. I really love this thing and I feel so organized. Also, we do have loads more snacks and stuff. I, like I said, keep them in a little plastic thing that I roll under here. And usually we keep dog food in here and stuff, but back there is all storage. And this is where we've been experiencing our leak. So it's really fantastic. So we've been pulling everything out of there, but this is where we have like, you guys probably are looking at my pantry. Like, do these people even snack? Like, here's all our cookies, our chocolate bars, um, granola bars, nuts, popcorn, all types of random stuff. But I love having that. It's a game changer because you can just throw all those little things into drawers like that and just tuck it at the bottom of your pantry instead of it all being like thrown in a bin or thrown on a shelf. That's how your pantry gets messed up with all of those little things. So love that. And then here is my spice cabinet. I am thrilled. I put most of the stuff back up there and just condensed a couple things, but I can't even tell you how much this freed up like an area in my brain that I've been needing to organize for the longest time. So there's all my spices that we use like frequently. We won't talk about this cabinet. We'll get to you eventually. Guys, I don't even know how this happens. What even is this? We'll just, we'll just shut it, okay? <laughs> so let's get this kitchen cleaned up and light our new candle on the island and just get it really cozy in here. pajamas and got some athletic clothes on. We're gonna go for a bike ride. Nick's bike has been messed up for over a year now and he finally just picked it up from the bike shop. So I'm so excited to finally go on bike rides again. So we're gonna go do that and then watch Criminal Minds. We have been on a Criminal Minds kick 
We watch it like every single night. It's our favorite thing to do. Just like veg out in bed and watch Criminal Minds. So that's the plan for the rest of the night. We're gonna head on a little bike ride together. Mm -hmm.